Ladies and gentlemen, welcome in to the Pre Pre Pod Podcast. Woo! Your boy Kay Lawson, your boy Blake Brooks. Blake, how are you this weekend? This this fine evening. I'm hyped, you know, hyped up, piped up. That Blake, stuff. Uh, that is such low energy from what I expected. Blake, Blake, hyped me up, and you piped both, up. Our teams won. Our fantasy teams won. Like. Our hot, hot takes. Our takes? hot takes one. I'm too hot. Fan me off. Tri- <laughs> the trifecta just happened this past weekend. I feel good at indeed. knowing football. I just, it just, it's a great time. Oh boy! Once again, these animals are just disrupting my life. But uh, yeah, it was great. Silence, boys. Oh my goodness! Here we go again. Put your Mom drink behind got, your computer. Bailey just got home, so they're they're losing their minds. Um, but yeah, it's been a hype week, you know. Uh, we we're just on top of the world. What more can we ask for? Another one. I do, I do feel on top. Well, yeah, I could. I would love to do the same thing this upcoming weekend, but we'll get into that later. Um, yeah, with no stop, <laughs> with one one pause. I just know if I open the door, Jet has a habit of running away, so I don't want to make that a possibility. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> but um, well, yeah, we can just dive on into Travis and mine's game and ignore this loud yapping for the moment. Try to. Is it, is it bad? It is. Are you getting your ears right. bleeding yet? Not yet. But the listeners at home, maybe. Stop being an annoyance. Um, but yeah. Uh, so yeah, Travis in mind game, not anything wild, you know, it's not a, <laughs> Travis moves to 0-6, and I think he's going to lose out, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, it's time to, it's time to really ask the question, is Travis going to win a game this year? It, like, we've reached that point. It's six games in, and he doesn't have a single win. Yeah, and his team's not getting any better. All right, she's inside. I'm letting him go so we can talk. All right, all right. But yeah, Travis is sitting at 0-6. It's a little bit crazy. The fact that he doesn't have a single win. He's also only broke 100 cleared. one game. Now silence just, for the viewers. I was just I was just saying it's a, it's a little wild. He's 0-6. He hasn't broke 100, but one game. I was looking at it earlier today. Um, his team got worse thanks to you giving him players that went zero points and three points this week. Yeah, I sure will say that trade backfired for him. Zero points by Melvin Gordon. I don't know if you've seen all the wild news that there might be trading him. Well, he he was literally on the sideline like the whole game last night. That's I read in the future. It like swindled him. He did. Um, but yeah, Mike And Williams- you almost had Cam Akers too. Who's also looks like he may not play football anymore. Yeah, I would Cam Akers point. would have been real. I'm so glad you guys talked me out of that one. Honestly, yeah. Now looking back, that may have made the trade more fair because now Travis has two useless running backs. I, t- I told you guys I was going to drop him when I got him. It was just a <laughs> miss. So, he, so it was two and two, you know. But now look, Travis gets two running backs with zero points on his team. Yeah. Uh, yeah, wow. but Mike Williams, I'd say he probably just had a bad game. I don't – that whole – Offense is looking bad, but it's. I mean, it's the Mike Williams. He's boomer. Last week he had twenty something. This week he had three. You know, that's that's Mike Williams for you. That's what he's going to do. Yeah, it's. Uh, yeah, he had a nineteen twenty three now a three. So, <laughs> I think the scariest part about his team is the fact that his bench only had two players that actually scored points. Alec Pierce had thirteen. Mike Boone had one. Everyone else with zeros. I don't know if they were all hurt. I know a couple of them are hurt. A couple of them played though. Oh, and I forgot Dalton Schultz was a game time removal. Yeah. Pretty much Travis's team just fell apart before the game started. Except Juju. Juju I, and Garoppolo both had good games. They scared me because Juju was an early game and I was like, oh no, it's happening. I was can texting. We talk about, can we talk about the fact that going into Monday night you were concerned? I was. And you were up by like twenty something points. Yeah, I mean, Mike Williams could get 20 himself. Melvin Gordon got 12 the week before, so there's, there's a valid reason to be concerned. They scored three points combined. Three. 
I didn't know that going into Monday. But I'm very glad because Lamar for me did not do well again. Um, yeah, Mixon had a solid game. Yeah, solid. Brian Robinson, my boy, got showed up. Twelve points is nothing to laugh at, man. Especially when you've been shot. Yeah, but uh, looking at my bench, lots of zeros, and then the shining Ayuk. 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 But yeah, I mean, my kicker even had a great game. So. Yeah, really. I mean, I, no offense to you. Pretty much it. The whole we'll we'll see. It was a really down week for scoring this week. Yeah. Breaking 100 was kind of hard to do, so you got 103. I was right there on the cusp of greatness. Yeah, but it was it was I, I the average the average score this week. I've been keeping track of that. It was 94.3, and it is almost 10 points lower than any other week we've had so far. So yeah, like, I think this is by far the lowest score. One of those before. non-offensive weeks. I'm so, I like looked ahead to Quan's game, and good lord. Yeah, all the games were sad this week. Um, but yeah, let's. Let's go to pull up the uh, notepad. And by request of Garrett, who is not here again, I'm not covering our faces with the notepad. Good call. Leave in the comments below if you'd rather our faces or the scores be covered. Hey, obviously, only watch it to see us. All right, Caleb, you were the only one that picked Travis. So, yeah, L for my I, boy. I was going to keep picking him until he won, but, man, that it may kinda, never happen. It kind of just... You're running out of time. I mean, how long is the regular season for us? Uh, 14 weeks. And three three playoffs. Yeah, that sounds right. Um, but yeah, I mean, I made it through my bye week. Yeah. 14. So we're almost halfway through. Yeah. I made it through my bye week. One of my bye week helps. Yeah. I have another week where Lamar and Joe Mixon are out. But I mean, I made it through a... Big substantial one because Amon Ra, Brandon Cooks, Damian Pierce is out. So, yeah, and you're getting a win yeah. in a bye week hell's a win in itself. So I count as a yeah. That's win. that's always always nice to get through, slip through those weeks. Um, man, I just poor Travis, dude. He's just a busy boy with the babies. Can't put time into football. I don't think, you know, you're right, and I respect that. But I don't think you could try to put together a team this bad. Well, I mean, when his tight end is a game time decision of not suiting up, that's pretty rough. He still only put up 75. Like, what? Schultz has a good game and goes for 15. That's still only 90 points. Like, but it made me sweat a little more. Yeah. Anywho. Yeah. Well, Anywho. yeah. Sorry about him. I'm not because I won. Okay. Still pulling for you, Travis. Still pulling for you. <laughs> um, let's see. Phillip and Grayson here. I mean, actually a decent showdown considering the scores this week. The, this was the two high-scoring people this week. One, 118 and 114 were the two highest scores this week. If I was Grayson, I'd be very annoyed. The fact I matched up with, well, yeah, able to beat anybody else. Yeah. Anybody else. Yep. yep. But yeah, that's was, the way it goes. This was going into the uh, the Monday night game. Philip needed like twenty or whatever it was out of Eckler, which was very doable, and Eckler pulled it out. Obviously, yeah, Eckler put his team on his back. Man, Jeff Wilson negative one. Yeah, that hurts. But he found a way to do it. What even? I didn't really watch that game, um, but it seemed like just the fact the Niners were down, they had to throw the ball more, which I think part of the reason Ayuk and um, Debo both had pretty good games. But and Debo's been like not amazing, but he's been like I mean in the teens, but he was my wide receiver one. So Yeah. Like yeah. you expect your wide receiver one to get more than teens. Yeah, true. Mark Andrews, another big game, twenty three points. That his his team was carried by his three his three guys mainly. I mean, Waddle and AJ Brown both had good games too, I guess, but yeah, but I mean, Mahomes, Eckler, Andrews. It, a win's a win, you know. Team AMA. AMA. Um, uh, he did Claypool with twenty-two. Do you think Pittsburgh's interesting? First of all, I cannot believe they won that game. Second of all, um, what's his name? Kenny Pickett's now hurt or has a concussion, so Trubisky had to come back in. But Claypool Biscuit. had a big game. 
Yeah, he really that, did. Because I had uh, uh, George Pickens, and I was hoping for the same thing. It didn't happen because Claypool. A solid five. But yeah, I mean, good good matchup here. It's came down to Monday night, so Jamar Chase it's, finally had a game. Yeah, that's yeah. Jamar Chase had a damn good game, and so did Kittle. I mean, sixteen's good. Yeah, Kittle's been hurt, so he finally showed up. But again, San Francisco was down, and they had to throw the ball more than they like to, so it it really beefed up some of their numbers, I think. But it also they can throw the ball. Like I think they maybe realize that they don't have to just run the ball all the time. Yeah, and I mean, Leonard Fournette had a, another big. Leonard Fournette's been a G. Yeah, Lenny. Playoff Lenny's looking good in the pre or in the regular pre playoffs. Um, pre yeah. playoff. the pre 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 pre. Well, Caleb Bolts, me and you picked Phillip, so there's a win for us there. Did Garrett not pick Phillip? No, Garrett picked. Grayson. Um, yeah, side note, Garrett's obviously not with us. Unfortunately, uh, passing away of his wife's grandfather, so he's dealing with family issues. Thoughts and prayers to them, obviously. Indeed. Shout out to Hannah. Everything's going good. Well, in thoughts and prayers, everything Caleb said, I just repeated, but... <laughs> We're not professionals. Um, so, okay, I have I have another question for you because I see Daryl Henderson Jr., who CDC's up with started, who I had for a while at the beginning of the season and dropped. A shame. Is he is he the is he the guy now there? I mean, Acres is not looking hot. And well, Acres is. I think Acres is done. Injured I, again. He's not being on the team. Anymore. I think he, I think Daryl Henderson has to be the guy. But he he didn't have that many carries this week. He had 12 carries. Like, I don't know who else they have. I don't know. I, I don't know. Quan, who's their other running backs? Dude? Quan, comment below. But um, it's got to suck yeah. to score the second most and still lose. I don't know that feeling because I don't ever score that many points. I've had, I've yeah, I've had a week where that happened, and it it kind of feels like you just wasted your score you know yeah you had a good um, week for nothing but yeah i mean you win some you lose some um what are we what are we going to are we going to the game of the week or do you want to save that one for last uh oh yeah let's skip over let's go to the mike 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 all right all right mike 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 um again philly with a weird name philly and travis would have tied is Philly that bad? Philly's team is McCaffrey. Philly's sitting at three and three, though. I mean, his team is McCaffrey and Chubb. Chubb had a bad week, so therefore it shows. Against that New oh. England defense, that New England defense, baby. What Philly saying, has so? Marquise Brown also. Oof. Uh, he's. I'm pretty sure he's done for the season. Is what I heard today. Yes, either the season or like six or seven weeks is what I saw. Yeah, so that does hurt. And that was on like one of the one of the last plays, right? Yeah, it was literally like the, the one of the last of the plays game. of the game. And it didn't even help them. They just he just got hurt. Yeah. Um uh, but yeah, Philly other than McCaffrey had nothing going for him. No. <laughs> Marquise Brown was I the mean, other big nothing. score, and he's now dead. Wow. And he only had one well, he had one bye week and then he's he's got a lot of hurt players on his bench, I think. Yeah, he he's been trying to trade me some of them hurt players, and I don't want them. I don't like I don't like trading for hurt players. Yeah, I think Cobb's done for a year too. He, they were carting him off the field. Yeah. It, Rogers looked bad, dude. He sure did. Not to not to jump into the hot takes yet, but we called it on the show. Yeah, uh, we we are some hot takers that know our stuff. We will get to that. That's that's one of the hypest parts of today's show for sure, but that's later on. Yeah. Um, uh, but yeah, I mean, also the team put together another decent outing. Gabe Davis and freaking Stephon Diggs, the double stack working out. Yeah. Uh, he's just feeding off Josh Allen. Oh, my. He's got a triple stack. 
The kicker. Oh, Tyler Bass. Yeah. Well, Bass didn't do anything special, but nevertheless, all he's missing is Josh Allen. You better go like attack Garrett for it. Just the entirety of the Bills offense. He's got Jalen Hurts had probably his worst week so far, though. It was just such a down week. Like Yeah. Overall. <sighs> I don't like Austin's running back situation looking at this. Uh, AJ Dillon's been very disappointing. Zeke had a good week, though. He had 15. He did, but I would not want to start Zeke as my RB1, which, like, DeAndre says should be coming back. But then he's also at yeah. Small Williams, so it's like, who do you start? Yeah, probably Swift when he's back. Yeah, I'd say I Swift and Zeke, I guess. Yeah, until AJ Dillon shows up. I, AJ Dillon's a really good player. They just Green Bay is a mess, dude. They're duty butt. I mean, they they just, the Jets look legit, I guess, right now. But they just lost to the Jets. Um. Well, dang, we all picked. Oh wait, no. You and Garrett picked Philly. God damn it! And I picked Austin. <laughs> God damn it. Pulling away, Caleb. You were catching up there. Where are we going next? Going to let's go to Dax. Is this the saddest game of the week? Uh yes. Steve just keeps winning. I know. He's five and one, and he has like the least points for. It. But poor Quan, man. Fifty nine. Yeah. Quan's also str Quan's one and fives. Struggling. And there's no, there's no looking up for Quan right now. That's what he gets for drafting Miles Sanders. That's I 100 percent plan on that. Miles Sanders and J.K. Dobbins. I was I was hating on both of them this year because yeah. J.K. Dobbins just cannot stay healthy. Yeah, but I mean, in all reality, Jefferson had a decent game and Sanders had a decent game. His kicker had a decent game, and after that, Geno, the letdown. Good, yeah, and Just Valdez like, can't link zero points. Oh, yeah, MVS with a fat egg. And the, the Jags negative two. Golly. He had 27 out of Deion Jackson sitting on his bench. I was going to say, like, he I would have started him over Dobbins. Yeah, but now he everyone's coming won back. won the game. Whew. But he would have won the game. That's what I, if Quan's listening to this, Dobbins just might be worth a drop. I don't like Dobbins at all. The, the Ravens are not known to run the ball with their actual running backs. They had, what's his name, running it quite a bit this week? Who's that old running back they got? The old Latavius boy? Murray? Is that right? No, he's on the Broncos. Okay, it's the other one. It's the other one. Give me a sec. I can tell you in like two secs. Two secs, you say? Okay, maybe not two secs. What's the other guy? Kenyon Drake. Kenyon Drake. There we go. Yeah, I, I like Kenyon Drake. I I picked Kenyon Drake up when they signed him, but I was like, I don't know. I don't have a spot for him, so. Well, I might, so maybe I'll look into that. I mean, either way, poor I've already got. Just the best running backs in the game. So, oops. Poor Kwan with a rough. What did I just do? A rough showing this week of under sixty. That's that's impressive. But yeah, uh, he had the lowest week. But yeah, I mean, let me go plug this in, then we can move to your your game, Mister Winner. Oh, who we did, all picked Kwan, pick? by the way. All right, I'm moving on to my game. And we all had a wow. lot of faith in Quan. He let us down. So I know I did bad because I, I picked our whole division to lose, including myself, and only me and two other people from our division lost, I think. Yeah, me, CTCs, and the last game we'll get to, but rough, rough. Anyway, are you looking at my game yet? I am. I'm looking at who Are you looking it? at my game yet? Yeah. I'm your are you looking at my game yet? Caleb, before we dive into the analytics here, you and Garrett picked Ethan. And I, I picked you. against myself. 
I got to stay humble somehow because I fucking dunked on Ethan this week, baby. Yeah, you put him in the poorhouse. It was so nice to just be comfortable. Yeah, I mean, man, your team, day. your team's coming together. Like Brees Hall, Ramondae Stevenson, CD Lamb had a like that's a bad game for him. It's eleven points. Michael Pittman, Pittman showed had a up. Big game. Pittman Taysom had a big Hill, game. just as we expected. Yeah, I know. Look at my – I had Tunyon on the bench with 19, too, of course. <laughs> Good thing you didn't need it. Oh, that would have really hurt. Yeah, I didn't need it, but it would have been nice. Uh, Sutton had a um, shitty week. Yeah, Eagles that's defense. his worst week he's had. Eight, whatever. Gano let me down. Six points. Six, six is all right. I feel like for a kicker, six is substantial or, like, good enough. But Gano is not your ordinary kicker. I okay. expect at least eight to nine out of him. Uh, um, I, mean, I will. My the biggest feeling is that I won and Derek Henry was on bye, so see, I that's got it. through that. That that's a big bye week. You survived a bye week on one of your big players. That's a win. Now you've got an issue. Are you going to start one of your running backs over Ramon or Cortland Sutton? I guess we'll find out next episode. I guess you're right. <laughs> uh, I want to look at next week yet. I want to soak in this fucking dub. All right. Ethan's team did not show up. Aaron Jones was six. You know, benching with eight. Thank God he outbid me on that guy. Tom Brady's dead. Aaron Jones dead. You know, Benjamin doesn't even belong in the I mean, yeah, Coop, NFL. Cooper got 16, which is Cooper's low tired. for him. DJ Moore's trash. Young Ho, I know Devin Duvernay is. I hate Ethan. I've been trying to trade for Travis Etienne with him every week. And he won't trade him, but he sits on his bench. Well, let him sit on his bench. He only had a, I mean, he had his best week, I think, this year, and it was only 11. Is that not right? Uh, no, he's had a 14 as well. No, he had a 14. I'm sorry. He had his second best week this year. Yeah, second best. But that means that good games are coming. Um, I did get a little lucky with Josh Jacobs being on by, and Hawkinson could have had a big game. I don't think he. You never would know. Have who they played, but you never know with Hawk Daddy. But he definitely would have had more points with Jacobs in there. I think I, I don't think he would have had enough to cover it. This was the biggest win of the week, by the way. I've been keeping track of that. Thirty-eight points was our biggest win of the week. Gaped him. Absolute uh, gaping. Did I say how our average scores was way low? I said that at the beginning. Oh yeah. But yeah, I mean, congrats, Caleb, on a win. Well fought. Hey, two and four, baby. We're coming. I told you last week, um, vibes are high, good feelings. We're hitting a roll. We're getting back in this thing. Yeah, I mean that's you're two and four now. Check. You're you're you have a chance. You have life. I'm in it. But yeah, after uh, your game, all we got left is the game of the week. Thank God I was not part of this game. One hundred eight to one hundred seven. Oof. I would have been having a heart attack on Monday night. Yeah, Caleb, you can you can narrate this because you were watching it. You were watching I it happen. Literally watching the game, watching the scores in my hands, and it's like I think at the start of the game, Garrett was down two, and he had Ellis kicker. had Herbert, and Garrett had McManus. Should have been an easy win for Nellis. You would think, no doubt, a two point advantage plus a quarterback over a kicker should have been easy. So like, into the game. Or like halfway, I guess, through the game. Garrett's like down a bit. Field goal goes in. He's up now. End of the game. Garrett's back down a bit because Herbert's built up more points, obviously. Throws an interception. McManus kicks field goal. Now Garrett's up by like three again. And it just, it literally come down. It came down, it came to overtime. And then Herbert throwing like a dinker pass for like four yards in Nellis final. I think in his defense, it was like a 12 yard pass. Well, yeah, but he actually threw the ball like four yards, and then Eckler ran like eight. That is true. But it literally, like, I'm pretty sure that play put him ahead, and then the Broncos muffed the punt, and the Chargers got the ball back and basically just did nothing with it, nothing worth points for Herbert, and kicked a field goal, and the game was over. Yeah, and I mean, like, the the Broncos could have gone and kicked a field goal and won the game, and that would have won Garrett the game. That would have been it. I, yeah, I, I mean, been sweating. McManus outscored Herbert, so just wild. One point, man. Absolute wildness. 
108, 107. But yeah, what, uh, that was a battle. good game. And I mean, Garrett's in our division, so it does help us. But I, I don't know. That yeah, that was a get, heartbreaker. Garrett got carried by Josh Allen as usual, and then Tyreek Hill had a huge game, um, and, and then, then Kamara, Kamara just showed up. Yeah, but he look, it showed up. Can we point out the fact that uh, Edwards Alaire, two bad weeks in a row? We can say it. I mean, two bad weeks in a row. Two in a row. Guess who didn't they have two bad weeks in a row? Ertz. Ertz, Ertz, Ertz. Tough game script this week. I'm just saying. Two bad weeks in a row, and he's uh, RB11 still. So he's still an RB1, technically. Ertz has gone up from fourth to third. And that is where he will stay, because he will never pass the two ahead of him. Who's, who's the other one ahead of him? Mark Andrews. Okay, yeah, there's no way. Oh, geez, they're back. had like 19 or something this week. Yeah, uh, funny thing is Joe Burrow on his bench with more points than Josh Allen. Yeah, Joe Burrow's on a tear right now. And man, if I was Garrett, I'd be so... He started Allen Robinson every game this this year. Until this week. Until this week. Wow, Garrett really left the points on the bench. And I, I would have done the same thing, though. I, I would I would not have started. Well, James Robinson was not looking good, but he was playing against Indy, so I would have probably started him as well. Yeah, I would have. I think I would have put the same starting lineup in. Personally, yeah, that's that's the way I it mean, goes. Um, let's see. We all pick Nellis. There we go. Well, I, th- I don't want to skip over the fact that Nellis aside. Saquon had 18. Kenneth Walker had 18. Travis Kelsey had 18. He had a bunch of very, very solid weeks. No one on his team really like exploded, but he had three or four guys that had like really good weeks, which is kind of scary. Yeah, I Saquon's just nonstop. Get out of here again. But yeah, you gotta close that door, dude. I know I'm gonna do it next next vid. Because this is an amateur hour. What can we say? I'm letting him know. Um, yeah, I mean, God, everyone on Nellis' team like had a decent showing except Garrett Wilson. Yeah, really. Like his, his, it was just like all around and average like, week. Gusecki, and it, Gusecki like on his bench with 24. He also, I mean, he had two buys, but it's probably people he won't really start. Derek Carr and Hooper. Like, he's not going to start Hooper over Kelsey. Probably not going to start Derek Carr over Herbert. So those didn't really affect him a lot. Yeah, but, I mean, a win's a win, you know. A win is a win. Yeah. But, yeah, going to the standings, I mean, like, I'm trying to load it up. It's taking forever. Well, I can tell you CD's nuts is up to a 26% Ooh, chance of making boy. the playoffs. Baby. CTC is sitting at 7% and 6 in our division. Uh, I am 5th in our division, 2 and 4. And then you got Garrett and yourself, and then Austin, and then Steve still at 5 and 1. Yeah, and then the, uh, looking at the other side, Four tracks, zero percent chance. Quan, he's got a one. He's got a one. Not for me. It says zero. Oh, mine says one. He can still make the playoffs. He just basically has, he has to win out. I mean, he has to essentially win out. Yeah, and then Quan's got a sixteen percent. Oh, mine says Quan has a six percent. What the hell? Is yours updated or is mine not updated? Oh, I'm in. I'm looking at the win percentage. Oh, my. It was, it was cut off because my, my screen's like scooched over. Yeah. Okay. So 1%, 6%. Yeah. 1%, 6%. I will say ours is a lot tighter on the left side there. Yeah. So I I was looking at this earlier today and thinking in our league, there's six playoff spots. It is two buys going to the two division winners. And yes. then are the other four all wild card spots? See, that's what I can't remember. I can't remember if it's like three from each division, but I don't know. That wouldn't. 
I don't think it's three from each division, but it might be the top two from each division and then two wild card spots. But I think it's one from each and then just four wild card spots. I hope so because I mean, like that. That's how it should be. And I would, the thing that makes me too. scared is that I've lost to the two people that are ahead of us in my division. Well, I've lost to everybody ahead of me because the only person in our division I beat was Grayson. <laughs> Grayson's got a tall hill to climb. So that's why I'm hoping it's wild cards because maybe I can pass one or two of you and have a wild card record at the end. You know? Yeah, because I mean, our division's definitely got more wins coming in, you know? But, uh, yeah, I mean, we only have like three, two or three more wins in them. But yes, we do have more wins. Points against Steven is, has the least against him by like 80 points. Well, that's not true, but. Yeah, the closest. That is true. Yeah, I was like, like, that is exactly it. Points four, he has, I think, the like fourth least yeah and he's travis is by far the worst hey i'm second worst but yeah but you're in there you're coming your team's coming together though mine really i had that one awful week that hurt and same thing for kwan kwan's down there he's had one awful week now and then his it does hurt off it really messes up your schedule but but yeah i mean <laughs> Another week down, kind of interesting, you know. Got to get into these hot takes, though, baby. Yeah, tell us, tell us, Caleb. Let us know. So they're all a little bit skewed, but we basically got it right. Uh, well, mine's a little bit skewed, but you guys both hit yours straight on. Mine was Tennessee over Alabama by 14. Tennessee won the game. That's what really matters. They, they won, won the game. Three. It was a great game. I don't know if you got to watch it. I don't know if anybody Parts else of it, yeah. watched it. I'm sure Nellis did. It was an amazing game. Tennessee won, stormed the field. It was crazy. Tore the goalpost down. It threw it straight into the Cumberland River. Um, your big take was the Giants to hold the Ravens under 17, which I don't know if they did that or not. They got 20. What not do? quite. They got 20, and it's because they got 22 because they took an intentional safety. So it would have been 20. So it was close. And to lose by less than seven. So cover that, dude. They won the fucking game. They won, baby. Outright pumped a win out. And then Garrett was Aaron Rodgers has a bad game. Fact. And it loses to the Jets, which is also a fact. That was a bold call, and they hit straight on. He double-taked. And straight on. So what I recommend to all you listeners for next episode is take these with a grain of salt and then put a parlay together like I did and make a bunch of money off of it because, man, it's a good feeling. Yeah, and don't add for sure winners to it like I did, like the Buccaneers. Yeah, that's where you messed up, man. It is. This is we're the only ones that know what's going on in this. All my hot takes world. hit in the parlay and then my sure winner fucked me. You got too greedy. You were like, let me sprinkle in these extra like 30 bucks. That's nope. What, that's what the four leggers, five leggers, they just it just escalates. But yes, I I threw together the the UT Giants Jets money lines parlay and it hit and it was beautiful. On to we the might next. come at you. We might come at you with a little thing to throw together for next weekend. We'll see. But oh we it has to be done now. We gotta the hot take records. We you know, but yeah, another good recap. I think uh, things are heating up in the divisions. Things are just they nonstop. Teams we're, winning, teams losing. Yeah, it's we're starting to we're starting to lose. If like tr- like Travis is basically out of it. I, I mean, unless he wins out, which I don't see happening. Um. Really, I would say Quan, Grayson, and I would even consider myself got to win like two out of the next three or like three out of the next four. Like we got to hit, we got to start rolling or we're dead. Yeah. And I mean, like, I feel like your team is on on pace to start doing that. You got a lot of strong players showing up now, but 
Yeah, but Juan's got to put takes... something together, and Grayson's team has just been having some unlucky breaks. Yes, but that's what it. Even for me, including those two, me, me, Grayson, and Quan, it just takes one. Like this week coming up, if if we lose again, it's like holy shit. The like, season might be done. Through. Like if I'm halfway through and I'm two and five, I, I might be dead. Yeah, dead. But if I'm halfway through and I'm three and four, I'm I'm right in the mix of things. Yeah, and I mean that's that's one win sometimes. So we'll see, we'll see. But it's getting spicy. Spicy potatoes. And with that, we'll close it out.